Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bashem, Rakakwadash, of honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled The Land of Unwalled Villages. Lord will, you are edified by sourcert.com. And this article is entitled, U.S. Warship Fails to Intercept Mid-Range Ballistic Missile Target Amid Reports of Russian Spy Ship Off Hawaii. This article was published on the 30th of May, 2021. And it states, the U.S. Missile Defense Agency said that an Aegis ship fired two SM-6 interceptors, but failed to hit a medium-range ballistic target with a Russian intelligence gathering vessel allegedly closely monitoring the botched test. The objective of the test was to demonstrate the capability of a ballistic missile defense configured Aegis ship to detect, track, engage, and intercept a medium-range ballistic missile target. The U.S. Missile Defense Agency said in a brief statement, however, an intercept was not achieved. U.S. officials are now conducting an extensive review to determine the cause of any problems which may have prevented a successful intercept and will thoroughly analyze the results. Okay, so what is a missile defense system? According to Wikipedia, it's a system, weapon, or technology involved in the detection, tracking, interception, and destruction of attacking missiles. Okay. <clears throat> this article supports biblical prophecy on how America will be destroyed by nuclear fire. This is Ezekiel 38 and verse 10. Thus saith the Lord power, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall, shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. Verse 11, and thou, referring to Russia, shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. Now, this is a representation of America regarding America's poor missile defense system. I will go to them that are at rest, these Americans, that dwell safely, these Americans, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. And like I stated, um, this is just further support on the reflection of America's poor missile defense system. Hence, without walls and having neither bars nor gates. And what this article stated, the objective of the test was to demonstrate the capability of a ballistic missile defense configured Aegis ship to detect, track, engage, and intercept a medium range ballistic missile target. The U.S. Missile Defense Agency said in a brief statement, however, an intercept was not achieved. Okay. When we focus on unwalled villages, according to the Hebrew, Strong's H6519, pronounced as par was yum, which means what? Open region referring to America and its poor missile defense system. Unwalled village, open country. Okay? Unwalled town, unwalled village, or a town without walls. Okay? Back into the scripture, of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates, 
to take a spoil and to take a prey, to turn thy hand upon the desolate places. Desolate, all right, goes into the origin of being utterly empty, okay? And what will do this? Nuclear fire. That are now inhabited and upon the people that are gathered out of the nations, referring to America. America is also known as what? A melting pot because various nations have came over here, okay, and benefit, benefited from the curses on the nation of Israel, all right? These other nations are joint heirs to Esau, um, which have gotten cattle and goods that dwell in the midst of the land, right? Because these other nations have benefited as well, okay? Um, let's get Joel, the second chapter, blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound and alarm in my holy mountain. And beginning with the apostles of, of great millstone. Okay. And most importantly, most importantly, via the Holy Spirit, we are prophesying to you. And this is also symbolic as blowing the trumpet. We are alarming you. That the day of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai is approaching. So blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord Yahweh come for it is nigh at hand. Verse 2. A day of darkness and of gloominess. A day of clouds and of thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people and a strong referring to these nuclear missiles. There have not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it. And that's literal, because once Yahweh Bashem Yahushai utilizes these nuclear missiles, okay, he will never have man to create them anymore, okay? Neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations, Verse 3, a fire devour before them and behind them a flame burn. Now remember, okay, the destruction from these missiles are located inside of the nuclear heads of these missiles. And then it states how and behind them a flame burn. And behind them, a flame burn. Okay. The land is as the Garden of Eden before them, meaning what? A paradise. And behind them, a desolate wilderness, meaning what? These missiles are going to destroy America. And they will penetrate America's missile defense system. Hence, the land of unwalled villages. Okay? Yea, and nothing shall escape them. All right? Second Ezra 16 and verse 7. May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. No. All right. And the strong archer is who? Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. And these arrows are what? Nuclear missiles. All right. All of these missiles will hit their designated spots. Okay. Last precept. Let's get Revelation, the 18th chapter. Verse 10, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, referring to America, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come.
However, an intercept was not achieved. Lord, will you edify Shalom?